which takes three weeks to prepare. <laughs> uh, so first of all, I, I have found home. I've been traveling since I was 17, never had a home, been multinational businesses running 29 factories around the world. And I've come here and I've found a home in the last seven years. And I must say, Carmen and Cesario are what I, you would advise the perfect sort of people in terms of small business. And that's what I believe in. My father was a small electrician in a small little town. I grew up with, you know, natural food. You know, peaches had, had holes in them because the birds ate them, the worms ate them. We had everything, but we had natural food. And, and what I'm trying to do is try to create these handheld food on the go that's natural. It's, it's, it's real food, it's not processed, it's, it's just all the ingredients that come together. They're simple, but they're pies. We make our own top pastry. It's puff pastry. The bottom is a hybrid pastry. A little less butter, more flour, and more bread flour to give it strength to hold together. If you sort of have a look there, it's sort of like you grab this pie and you munch it, and it's food on the go. Good calories, good quality ingredients. We also have, if you have pies that you're hungry, you get home and you want something that's real, you take it out of the freezer and you warm it up. Ideally, I prefer not to have it in the freezer, but the, the nature of food safety requires us to do certain things that we don't want to do. So I search out ingredients and, and, and you know, like Ellis at the airport, your food is great. Um, it's been a great area. I raised my own chickens and, and, and grew up with that flavor of chicken. When we got to the States 22 years ago, the worst thing in the world was getting into to a supermarket and I'm used to grabbing a peach that has flavor. You get these most beautiful peaches in America and they have no soul. And, and the chicken and the bread. The worst art in the supermarket was bread. It stinks. You want to gag when you walk down the supermarket on the bread. I grew up getting to the local bakery and you walk in and you, we should rush home to take the bread to cut it off and who's going to, who's going to have the crust? We make our own wood fire bread at home with natural ingredients. Beer, pastry, and, um, and beer, pastry, and bread all have four ingredients. Not the same ingredients, but that's the simplicity of things. You don't need a lot of stuff to make things good. So our pies only have, I uh, use Petaluma Farms chicken, because most chickens that get processed get done in bleach. Petaluma Farms, chicken, organic, non-GMOs, you know, it's all the good stuff, the things I grew up with. And that's what I'm trying to do, is great pies that have these natural, nice ingredients. I've got flavors that I use that, that from my worldly travels that, that I enjoy. I mean, my lamb curry has influences of Cape Malaya. I like American chilies. I like, you know, and you find flavors wherever you go, and I'm trying to incorporate them to create these sort of things that I enjoy. I want to eat these pies because I like them. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it as I go forward with the, the, the sort of journey. So uh, I really do want to thank the kitchen here uh, because they created an opportunity, and these guys are really the best. This is I've looked at a lot of kitchens, and this has got to be the best in the area. So thank you.